The box arrived a little beat up. I was a little curious to open it to make sure everything arrived safe and sound. Once I pulled everything out, it was all fine. They packed everything pretty well. Kind of looks like something, right? The Millennium Falcon. Once I unpacked everything, it was time to assemble. It was pretty straightforward. The plate slid right into the pin. Next, I needed to install the screw on the left side and make sure everything was tightened down. I then moved over to the right side and did exactly the same thing. Once everything was secure, I then had to install the scroll saw blade. It was pretty easy. You just had to set it in the groove and tighten the little knob on the top and find it on the bottom and slide it in the groove and tighten on the bottom. Pretty easy. Next, I moved everything over to the stand. If you haven't seen that video on the stand and my thoughts on it, check it out here. I'll put the link in the video and in the description below. On the top, the scroll saw has an on-off switch and on the left there's a variable speed adjustment. This here is how you set the tension of your blade. It goes up to level 5. This is one of my favorite things about the scroll saw, the dust blower. Next to the head, there's an adjustment for the foot. That's what I call it. It helps keep your wood in place from bouncing up and down as you cut things. Now let's test the scroll saw to see how it cuts through several different types of material. Let's start with walnut. It's one of the hardest woods to cut. This sample is actually one inch thick. I then decided to cut out a dinosaur. This is something that I actually make and sell, and I want to see how it did. I've discovered that maybe it's just me or the technique that I have, but you have to go really slow. Otherwise, you get this little curve to the wood, and it doesn't cut at a true 90 degree angle. So be careful out there. Next, I wanted to see how the scroll saw cut through quarter inch MDF. Make sure when you're cutting your material that you're using the right blade. I purchased a whole bunch of blades for my scroll saw to cut through different types of material and thicknesses. Next, I wanted to test cutting into 3 quarter inch birch plywood. In addition to having a good scroll saw and mechanics, you also need to make sure you're using the right scroll saw blade. This one's rated for cutting through thicker material. This was a lot of fun to actually just cut and make. I could see myself making a lot of things with this scroll saw. The last material that I tested was 3 quarter inch pine. Now this is select pine, so it's a higher quality, doesn't have knots or anything in it. And it held up really well. Uh, the scroll saw cut through it perfectly fine, no issues there. I did realize, however, that my technique needs some improvement as if you go too fast, again, you can bend the blade as you're cutting and you don't get a true 90 degree cut. This scroll saw is really great for teaching your kids the basics of woodworking. My son Ethan here decided to make an indoor dragon from Minecraft. I'm really proud of him and how he cut everything out and listen to my instructions. He's going to be a great woodworker someday. So this is a Minecraft Ender Dragon and the legs are the same size though but it still works. And um, so please subscribe and if you have any questions just tell us in the comments below. And this is what it looks like and thank you for watching. Bye!